In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for Pb, Pb2+, and Pb4+. So lead, the lead 2 ion, and the lead 4 ion. For lead, this is what we end up with our electron configuration being. We can use this chart here to figure that out. And there's a link in the description on how you can use the chart to figure out this electron configuration for lead. We can also look at the periodic table here and find lead. So here's lead, atomic number 82. So all of these are neutral elements. So this means it has 82 protons. Since it's neutral, it has 82 electrons. If you add all these superscripts up, that would give you 82, 82 electrons here in the configuration for lead. So based on this, one way we can figure out what this last term here should be, just to check our work, is to think of this in terms of orbital blocks on the periodic table. So we think about the periodic table in terms of these orbital blocks. We have S, D, P. The F would be down at the bottom. So when we look at the configuration, the configuration for each of these elements ends in S1, S2, and then we have D1 all the way to D10, since D can hold 10 electrons. P, we have P1, P2, up to P6. We have six electrons here in the P block. For lead right here, we end up with 6P1, 6P2. If we look at our configuration, it ends in 6P2. So that's a really good way for us to check ourselves and think about the periodic table. Let's go back to our periodic table and write this in the condensed notation, and then we'll talk about what happens with the ions. To write the condensed notation, we'd find xenon here. This is the noble gas before the lead in the periodic table, it's 54. We'd go up 54 here, which ends right here. So this is the electron configuration for xenon. We can just write Xe, and then the rest of this right here. So this would be the condensed notation for lead. There's something we should address though before we go on to the ions. The S and the P these are the valence electrons. These are the ones that are going to be removed. So sometimes you'll see the 6s2 right before the 6p2 because these are the first ones that are going to be removed when it forms ions. They're similar in energy, so either way, just be aware that the valence electrons are in the s and p orbitals. Let's look at the lead 2 and lead 4 ions. So this is the electron configuration for lead in condensed notation. Let's copy that to do lead 2. So to get lead 2, that 2 plus, Pb2 plus, that electron configuration, we need to lose two electrons. Since electrons are negative, when we lose those two electrons, the element becomes positive. We have this Pb2 plus ion. So this is the electron configuration for Pb2 plus. For Pb4 plus, we're gonna end up losing two more electrons. But the question is, which ones do we lose? We're gonna lose the valence electrons, the electrons in the highest energy level, that sixth energy level. So these are the two that we will lose. And now instead of two plus, it becomes four plus. Let's move these over here. And this is the electron configuration for Pb4 plus. So there you have it, the electron configuration for Pb, Pb2 plus, and Pb4 plus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.